it's your wife in training it's your wife in training yeah hello you two kings and queens prince and princesses it's queen elizabeth sasha wife in training aka wife in training it's your wife in training yeah anyway you two um i'm suffering from a little allergy slash i don't know cold or whatever so we have a weight loss video slash home ready kind of home remedy kind of medicine so just letting you guys know i'm not a doctor i'm not a physician I'm not out here prescribing anything it's just for informational purposes only and you know if you want to try home remedies instead of using medicine then this is the natural way to go so anyway we're going to start off with psalms 91 psalms 1 because we're going to go from psalms 1 on all the way up to the hundreds okay guys so it says Psalms 1 is blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of the sinners nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of the Lord and in his law though he meditate day and night and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of the water that bring forth his fruit in his season his leaf also shall not wither and whatever whatsoever he doeth shall prosper the ungodly are not so but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous for the lord knoweth the way of the righteous but the way of the ungodly shall perish this is the lord's holy reading so we're gonna go on into the video so I'm gonna show you exactly what we have so far I wish you guys a blessed and productive day for tomorrow and a productive week coming ahead so you know I love you guys to Pluto and back been down under the weather this is like the best my voice has been in a while the other day like a couple weeks ago I couldn't even talk like couldn't even say anything and it just keeps coming in and out so we're gonna ask god to continue to bless our household may our store baskets never run empty and may he continue to ordain our steps only for greatness so without further ado see you guys in a few i'm gonna put up my hair so we can get this thing going smooches see you guys in a so few here is put up also unless god sent you i am unavailable we have our handy dandy pineapple i washed it with soap Scrubbed it down really good, rinsed it off thoroughly. So I'm gonna cut it up and I'm gonna use the skin to boil it in the pot. So my handy dandy pot is here with the lid of course. We have 24 ounce of water and that's distilled water. So that I have boiled this water and put it there. We have our cucumber, we have one lemon and we have some ginger. And then for our natural remedy, we have thyme, ginger, one lime, and some garlic. You guys know I love my garlic. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm doing. In a few, I'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna start off with our pot. As you guys can see, I have my handy dandy distilled water. I'm gonna just pour it into the pot, and now I'm gonna pour it out. The stove to boil. So we already turned on the stove. And it's gonna be on the highest, and then we're gonna start off by let's get this one out of here. We have our chopper and we're just going to start off by chopping up. We're going to leave on the skin and everything. Thank you. 
chop the ginger into small pieces because I don't want to ruin the blender. And that's what the ginger looks like guys. I don't know if you can see it. Right this is how big I cut up the cucumber. So it looks like a, a, like a dime size and the skin is still on it of course. So we're just going to move this over because that's for the tea later on. And we're just going to cut off this piece of the lemon, the edge. Cut it in four, and we're gonna leave the skin on it too. Lime, the lemon actually, ginger cut up into fine pieces. So we'll just break that apart. We have lemon, so we have ginger, lemon, cucumbers, and more ginger over here. And then, of course, I told you guys about the lime, ginger, garlic, and thyme. So after the, the water boils up, which it kind of is boiling up right now, but not quite yet, once that water boils up, then I'm gonna put the actual pineapple skin inside of the water and let it boil some more and then pour it off and I'm going to use the pineapple water the skin of the water this uh, water from the skin like boiling up to actually well mix all of this together with some of the pineapple as well and whatever water is remaining then I'll then cut this in half and put it into the pot to boil too so that would be like my little potion my the steam Woo, from that pot all right so my blender is ready I'm just gonna hit the release button and take off the top. And I'm gonna start loading it. Uh, Last piece of skin going into the pot as well. I'm gonna have to pour some more hot water on top. gonna waste any we're gonna put all of the cut-ups in inside of the pot let that boil and I'll show you guys that in a few I'm gonna just cut up some and we're gonna leave some for later because of course we would like to enjoy a snack
until this last piece is done. So that's not actually going to go into the blender. That's what it looks like guys. Pineapple left, that's the chopper. And that's what the blender looks like. So we have ginger, lemon, cucumber, and we have our pineapple in there too as well. And now when we finish with that, I'll let you know. So this is what the water looks like so far. Boiling up. Okay guys, so we're gonna boil it for maybe like another. Okay, to turn down the stove. Guys, it is really boiling, okay? Look at that. I'm just gonna move that over. Jesus. Ooh. That thing is boiling up, guys. All right. So, we're just gonna leave it alone. Turn on the stove just a little bit. Pardon me. So now it's on the extreme lowest um, burner. Like I think it's on low. So regardless of that, this is what it looks like when it's boiling. It's not giving the color that I want it to have yet. So I'm going to let it simmer down for maybe another 10 minutes or so. And then I'm going to use that water inside of the blender. And um, after I take the skin out, then I will throw in the thyme and ginger and all of that stuff into the pot with this skin as well. Alright? So just stay tuned guys. I'll be right back. Oh, pineapple skin, thyme, ginger. Le lime and garlic so that's what's gonna go into the pot for a boil maybe like about mm, 10 minutes with two or two cups of water yep we're gonna do two cups of water with the pineapple skin thyme ginger lime and garlic okay so now we have the pineapple water I already strained it with my handy dandy strainer and so we're gonna go ahead and Pour it into the blender up here. You can see it's piping hot. So that actually brought it to about almost six cups of water. So now we're gonna put on the lid and we are going to blend away. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on guys. So see you guys in a few. is the mixture and we're gonna let it stay there and simmer down okay guys and then that water will just drink with a tablespoon of honey okay guys this is the finished product so we have about eight cups of juice in here and it's just a little bit warm but no biggie we have our ninja blender here it can withstand any pressure okay guys that's why you have to go with the winning name and the winning brand and everything good and nice. So, I don't like the clumps and stuff. So, I'm going to use my handy dandy KitchenAid uh, strainer. As you guys can see, I just rinsed it out again. And um, we're going to go ahead and juice it, guys. So, I'll be right there in a few. And the bottle that we're going to put it in 
is this gallon jug here. So it was orange juice in there and I used hot water to rinse it out after the water was cooled down, of course. And we're just gonna put it back in this jug here. Okay, guys? So this is the weight loss drink that I am making. To sustain my hunger for the day, I'm going to add some baby spinach, arugula, beetroot, uh, leaves, radish leaves, all simply organic. So we're just gonna add that. And the aroma from that, guys, uh, it just smells so good. So I'm just gonna take like a handful and just throw it in the blender and go back to blending. So maybe about two handfuls. We'll just put, pack that in there. We want all the vitamins, minerals, uh, folic acid, chlorophyll, whatever we get from sperm. You know, all those goodies that we get from eating vegetables. So, all right, so I'm gonna put it back to blend, but it just smells so good, guys. That ginger has it popping. So that's what it looks like in the blender. So we're gonna put the pop, the top back on again, and we're gonna go to town. So this is what the finished product looks like and then I'm just gonna keep pouring onto it and keep straining and how we do it is like so just move it around just like so If you look at the juice underneath, that's what the juice looks like. Not bad, right? So after I'm done, I'm just gonna pour it into the bottle. All right, guys. So I didn't want to go buy um go buy any bottles. You know, I already have a ton of them here, so I could have put it in my uh, jugs that I usually have, like the thermos that I carry around. But I didn't do that. So what I did was I knew it was gonna it wasn't gonna make a gallon of juice. Uh, from the time I was straining it and stuff. So what I did was I poured out the water um, From the bottles into this jug. So I have three days worth of juice so far. I have some more left in the fridge uh, That one is more of a green more green color, but that one is also um, Like more of a green color That one's also in the ADR Park water bottle. This one has cabbage and some other drinks uh, like juice and stuff in there it has cabbage cucumber ginger I'll, I'll do that one too as well so as you guys can see the difference the contrast in color and it didn't even have any celery this is just cabbage and cucumber and ginger and I believe I put something else in there I didn't even add grapes to it but this one guys oh my god this is so sweet I think the pineapple was right so because of the pineapple that was ripe and the ginger gave it this nice robust taste like even after um, I took the trash from they call it the trash but it's really not the trash this is really what we should be eating right this is everything after it was mixed up I tried it oh my god it actually tastes good so I didn't really have to strain it but sometimes I'm just like I don't want to have to chew anything if I'm not trying to eat it but right now I'm chewing it and it's actually giving me that that ginger is giving me that chewy taste. So I can actually actually store it in the container if I want to and carry it as a snack. But if I did do that, I would put it in one of these little containers right here. Because sometimes when you're juicing and just drinking, sometimes you want something to chew because your stomach is used to chewing. So you can actually have it as a snack, it just needs to be um, refrigerated. But this is the yield product so far, what we have. So this is juice for what, three days, and I still have one. So I'll have this, I'm going to have this tomorrow. Or, matter of fact, I'm going to pour out some tonight, because they say that you're supposed to drink some before bed. So I'll let you guys know when I weigh in and the timeline that we have which is one month from today's date and we're gonna start tracking our journey and the three bottles of water i poured into here i'm going to drink that tonight as well okay so i'll show you what the actual other 
mixture with the time looks like before this is the finished product guys um this is the pineapple skin lime ginger garlic and thyme so this is the tea i'm gonna pour into the cup and i'll show you guys what you guys can see the steam flowing from the top like flowing out and then there's a garlic flowing on top so i'm gonna go ahead and drink that guys hope i hope this video finds you well i hope that you guys have a blessed and productive week to come and may god continue to bless your household your store baskets and may they never run empty smooches love you guys to pluto and back bye